All right, and now we're going to be renaming images. And this is super simple. What you're going to do is select the images from one lot sticker to the next, so the image before and the image before this lot sticker. And you're going to come down here because this is the image we want to be seen first on the website. It's the what we call the thumbnail. It's the first image that appears on the website next to the description. So we want it to be the nicest, most clear image that there is available. And then you're going to right click and select rename. Type one to match with the lot number and enter and that will rename your image. Going down to the next lot, we have lot two. So once again, we're going to select all the images within that and please include the lot sticker so we have the uh, information for reference just in case an item gets lost or whatever we like to have this included in the lot so it's easy for us to go back into the auction and look to see who the consigner was so always make sure you include your consigner sticker regardless of whether the lot number is in that image or not so once again we're going to come down here and right click on the image once again that's the complete lot I'm going to select rename and press 2 and that will match it up oh, i'm sorry and that will rename it to the lot all right, we're going to scroll back down and as you rename your images, they're going to start getting out of order and all that. Don't worry about it. Just scroll back down to your next lot. And then here, just like in the descriptions, when I told you that this just means the lot's the same for all three of these lots, you're going to come back over here, grab your consigner number, and we're going to go ahead and choose this one as our thumbnail because it is the clearest image. I'm going to rename to three, press enter. And while your images are still highlighted, go ahead and right click and copy. Come back over here and unselect and then select paste. And give it a second, really long second. And since you unselected before you made your paste, it'll still have the ones that you pasted selected. You can either right click and select rename and type in the next lot number, which is four. I'm going to paste again after you unselect. And then you can either right click to rename or you can press. Let me reselect those. I was trying to show you a different trick. You can press F2 if you are using a Windows computer. And you can type in your lot number and press 5, and that will give it. So now we have all those images are associated to that lot now. Same thing with the next lot. We're going to grab our consigner sticker and the lots following it. And we're going to come over here to this one and make this our first image. We're going to rename type six. We're going to copy those while they're still selected. Unselect just by clicking off in a blank space. And we're going to paste those. And just come over here, rename. So now six and seven have the same images as they are the same lots. And we'll move on to our next one, which is just a single lot. So we're gonna grab all of these images because we want that consigner number in our lot. We're gonna come over here. This is our clearest image of the whole lot and it's the best looking. And we name it. And like I said, it's gonna keep moving your files up as you rename them. It just puts them in order by name. Coming down to lot nine. And this is going to be lot nine. Same with the next lot. I'm going to select the one, the picture right before the next lot number, and the one that has our consigner sticker in it. And this one's kind of not spacing right. Okay, so you don't want this to be your thumbnail or those. These are just highlight photos. So you're going to come here to where this one's nice and clear and rename to lot. 10 and so on and so forth through all your lots. So here we're going to make that the thumbnail for lot 11. And as you can see what I'm doing here is just going through and grabbing all of the images relevant to the lot, including the consigner sticker and lot number and all the highlighter photos. And then we don't want to use this one. That's just a close-up to give you more detail. We want to use this one. So we're going to rename that to 13. 
And then once again, we have one of the lots that we're going to use the pictures for the same one. So we're going to grab all of the images and I can sign our sticker. And just rename. I'm going to press Control C to copy and select. Control V to paste. F2 to rename, and I'm going to rename it to the next lot number, and the same thing. Click to unselect, press Ctrl V for paste, and it will paste the last thing we copied, and then just press F2, and rename it to 16. So then 14, sorry. So then we see here 14, 15, and 16 all have the same images because they're the same lot. Going down, you see, nine, I'm sorry, 17, 18, and 19 are going to be the same thing. So I grab a consigner sticker. All the way over to here and we're going to use this as our thumb this is just showing you you know the front and back and it comes to the lid but we want this to be our thumbnail so right click 17 and i i should mention um whenever you're renaming your photos always for the first one always do the right click to rename so we're going to control c while they're still selected control v F2 and rename to the next lot number. Once again, paste and rename to the next lot number. So 17, 18, and 19 all have the same images. Moving on to lot 20, we do the same thing once again. Grab our container sticker along with all of our lot images, and we can see this is the front clear thumbnail that we want to be our first picture. We're going to rename, type in 20, press enter, and you'll do that throughout the whole auction. And just to give you an example of what the website will look like, if you go onto auctionnation.com, we're going to go into one of the e-commerce auctions, just to give you an idea of what I mean when I say thumbnail. So the first image that you rename is going to be the first image they see online. And that is just the nice clear image of the lot with the description right next to it. It's very aesthetically pleasing, looks very nice. Um, this is a shoe auction, so it's a little different than the auction I was training you on, but just to give you an idea of what it looks like and the importance of making sure you select the right image, because if you don't, it's going to put the wrong image first and it just looks really goofy. So, all right. And then in the next video, I will be showing you how to put your completed auction back into Dropbox.